Ho, 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 ho. 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 Ho, 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 ho
I'm not putting nuts in it. I don't like nuts that much. Um, okay, it says to beat it again. I'm just gonna stir it good. Cause it's gonna get beat real good here in a little bit. Okay, that's what you have. Not a lot yet, but we'll have more here once I add the flour and stuff. Now, you add supposed to be it calls for one cup for 60 cookies well I'm using at least a cup and making a half a half of a serving Okay, that's what I have so far. And now, for the half, well, let's say 30 cookies instead of 60. I'm making 30. So in that case, I use a cup and a quarter of flour, which I'm guessing <laughs> this is probably just right I need to put it in the beaters for a while until it's well mixed and okay yeah be right back All right, and that's what we have now. It says shape into balls. And this is a part the kids would really like. You get coconut. Okay, calls for a half a cup, you know me, let's put in some more, you want to kind of cover each of your, I've divided that into two balls, if you can see, and I'm cutting them each in coconut. Here comes the part the kids are going to love. Pull up a nice piece of plastic wrap. <laughs> I have trouble with that. Coconut. Slowly work your balls out. <laughs> oh Lord, this is going to sound like a porn video. <laughs> okay. Like, there's one. Going to lay it in the middle of the plastic. As you can see. I'll save and take this out in a little bit. Just trying to work the coconut around it. Make just to make it handleable slightly. 
don't have to be real handled. Real easy to handle. You just have to be able to form it into a ball and get it covered in the coconut and onto your plastic. This part is easy now. Okay, you just fold it over. And pull it over here sideways. And you kind of work it out. soft and tender at this point okay put them in the refrigerator for several hours I'm leaving mine in overnight okay let me do the other one It's kind of bent on my plastic wrap. It's hard to tear. Okay. Here's the other one. get your balls even size when you go to make them and it doesn't matter okay make them about this big set them in the fridge overnight or for a couple hours and that would give the grandkids the kids whatever time to go play do something else then you come back and when we come back, I'll show you the next step. Okay, it's nearly 24 hours later. <laughs> um, but uh, back to the Santa, Santa whiskers. Um, now you want to preheat your oven to 375. I need a recipe. I make these every year, but I still need a recipe. Okay, oven's preheating. Next. You'll want dental floss. Yes, I said dental floss. Or you can also use thread because with these cookies, if you try using a knife, you'll smush them in a nice sized piece. All right. Now let's unwrap one of these and I'll show you how simple these are. If I can get them out of the plastic wrap. Okay. Okay, fix them up a little bit. Make sure the ends are kind of flat. 
in the sides, try to get them as uniform as possible. Now, what you do is you lift your roll up, you go in about, I don't know, however thick you want your cookies, probably about a quarter to a half an inch. You bring your thread up or your, your floss, you wrap the two sides over, pull them tight, and voila, there you go, there's your first cookie. It's that easy, and kids love it. It's something they can do, they don't have to handle sharp knives or anything, and even adults, it's like, it's so easy. There's two. Perfect. You don't have to smush them and roll them up and because that part's already been done. Meanwhile, I've left my other loaf in there. Because as soon as these start to uh, soften up, they're so hard to work with. Okay. Mine are getting bigger as they gradually go along. Of course, depending on how many cookies you want, oh, depending on how many, how big you make them, the thinner you make them, the more cookies you'll get out of it. Plus also though, the harder your cookies will come out. like two more you want to put them like an inch inch and a half apart I am slipping off the floss come on almost done jeez I must have gotten a cherry in that one <laughs> normally it's just like woot 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 and it's done Okay, and there's the last one. I'll probably need a new piece of string. Ah, it won't come off my finger. <laughs> there we go. Now what's left of the roll, I'm just gonna roll back up and put it back in the fridge. Until I'm ready to do my second sheet. And these can stay in your fridge for a while too. If you don't get to them right away, that's fine. You can do them the next day or you can make these ahead of time, make them up, and then just cut them, put them on your rack. And they only, uh, let me see, they bake for 12 minutes or until done. So probably about 10 minutes you want to check on them, make sure they don't burn. And I'm going to stick them in my oven now. Let me show you first. Ooh. If you like cherries and you like coconut, this is excellent. Okay, found my second tray. So I can go ahead and do some more. Meanwhile, watch your clock, set your alarm for like 10 minutes. Okay. Which will be about 20 after. My oven's preheated. Okay, wrap. And pull. Oh, come on. It does get harder when you get down. Toward the end. 
Your hands want to slide a bit. That's why you want extra, so you can wrap them around a little bit. Okay, ooh. That one was a little rough. Because I did get, I caught some cherries in there. And the very last one. I'm gonna try to do this. Let me I can take a few more off of this one. Normally you wanna set this out probably on an open counter, clean counter. I like keeping it on the plastic, although it does get caught up in it. Yeah, you can see the problem, there's cherries. I didn't get them fine enough, I guess, when I chopped them. And one more cookie. This is supposed to make 30 cookies, supposedly. But. Okay. I made 18. Oh. I'll get just over 20, I guess, with this. But some of mine are bigger. Well, like I said, what's left, wrap it up, put it in the refrigerator. It'll keep for a while. And when you're ready for them, they're done. And there's my second rail, or second pan, tray of cookies. I'm gonna stop the camera, come back when they're done. This first set didn't turn out too good. They, uh, well, they're not bad on the bottom. They just got a little darker than what I'd like. Now these look better. These look really good. They uh, are just browning on the sides. Some. And now I'm going to put them on a, a rack to cool. Okay. There's a rack. They come off real easy. I am kind of bummed. These you have to watch, I guess, a little bit more closely. Because they are baked at a higher temperature than usual. 375. And uh, they seem to get done faster than you'd think. <laughs> okay, pay no attention to those. Still edible, but a uh, little darker than what I would have wanted. These are the ones. So, come on. I'm waiting for that to focus. And I want to take a picture. And that's it. And I'll be putting the recipe up on the group page, like I said. So, uh, 
look for it there. Thanks for watching and enjoy. Bye bye. Okay, look what we got. A package from Marie and a card from Thomas. And I'm going to open them up. Don't want to show you the addresses or anything. I'm going to open them up and uh, show you what they are. Okay. Now, here's what Marie got. It's an amethyst pendulum. Which is really cool. I'll have to try that out. And this is an amethyst tree. Now let me take it out. Of, and she sent this nice card. And Thomas sent this nice card. That's pretty too. It's three dimensional. Um, yeah. I pre-cut this. There we go. Isn't that neat? It's going to set up on in my uh, homemade curio box I made. When I get it put back out. Right now it's well it's back there somewhere behind those nutcrackers <laughs> at the very back. Let me uh, pull this pendulum out. Now there it is. That's pretty. So thank you so much, Marie. It was a a really, it was a nice surprise. And they're so pretty. You can't go wrong with crystals. <laughs> Especially when it comes to me. And thanks for the, the pretty cards. Thomas too. And I just got in the mail, also, something I'd ordered. Well, this one I'd ordered earlier, but this one. And I got them because they delivered packages late. It was a, a free thing. But uh, Krampus, little Krampus ornaments. <laughs> I know they're kind of scary, but... Uh, and this is funny, on the back of this, it looks like it says, Tessie Ho Ho. <laughs> so that's what I'm calling this little girl now in the basket. That's Tessie Ho Ho. <laughs> Here's the other one I'd ordered earlier. I've been wanting to cramp his ornament for so long and I got rebates on them. So I was like, okay, I'll take them. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot, Marie and Thomas. There's Heather's card. And if we swing around here, up to here, up on top of this mantle, there's Thomas's card. There's all the Santas. There's Marie's card. And more Santas. Of the carousels, the way they they're in motion, and the grapefruit, the way it uh, lights up, almost like uh, stained glass. 
behind the lights. And that's all it is, just slices of pink grapefruit. But yeah, the little carousel spinning helps a lot. I don't know if you can see that one, it's in front of that light. But it, uh, it kind of catches your attention, I think. <laughs>